Dear students, welcome to all of you in this video lesson of BA second year of Maulana Azad National Urdu University, Hyderabad. Today, we will have a discussion on need and importance of teaching composition, objectives of teaching composition, types of composition, procedures and techniques of teaching guided composition as well as free composition. The topic is prescribed in the 8th unit teaching of grammar and composition of the course pedagogy of English for both regular and distance mode students of B8. In this video lesson we will try to find out the answers of these questions. What is the need and importance of teaching composition? What are the objectives of teaching composition? What are the types of composition? And what are the procedures and techniques of teaching guided composition and free composition? This video lesson will enable you to know the need and importance of teaching composition to understand the objectives of teaching composition, to know types of composition and to apply the procedures and techniques of teaching guided composition as well as free composition. Composition is the expression of child's thought. The power of expression is a matter of skill rather than of knowledge. Therefore, teaching of composition has a great value in developing the skill of expression. Composition is defined as an art of putting together items of language to express one's thoughts and feelings. The word composition is derived from the Latin word componere, which means to put together. So, to compose means to bring or put together words or sentences. Thus, composition means putting together words or sentences. The essential feature of composition is to sequence the proper word at the proper place in a sentence and proper sentence at proper place in writing. Composition is one of the important aspects of language learning. It is an integral part of teaching English. Composition is taught to enable students to acquire mastery over the language. We should remember that composition is to be taught orally first and then it should be taken up in written form. The objectives of teaching composition are to enable the students to write legibly and correctly, to develop the habit of clear and logical presentation, to stimulate students to think about a situation provided, to teach students how to organize thoughts and ideas in accordance with the accepted usage to develop students vocabulary, to develop imagination of students, to help students to think freely, to develop students power of expression in writing as well as in speaking. So these are the objectives of teaching composition. Composition is of two types namely guided composition and free composition. Both guided and free composition can be oral or written. Let us try to understand these types. Guided composition means composition in which guidance is provided to the learners. For example, guidance of vocabulary, structure or ideas. Guided composition is also called as controlled composition 
because there is a control of structures, vocabulary and ideas by the teacher. Whereas free composition means doing composition work freely and independently. Hence the learner is free to use thoughts, structures, vocabulary etc. No guidance is provided. Free composition may also be called unguided or uncontrolled composition. At the early stages of language learning, guided composition is of great help because students are beginners and they cannot write without proper guidance. At the initial stage, 100 percent guidance is provided by the teacher, but later it is reduced to minimum. A stage comes when students do not need any guidance of the teacher, thus free composition stage is reached. It is the ultimate goal of teaching composition to enable students to express themselves freely in oral and in written communication. <music> students, let us try to understand the procedure of guided composition. There are five steps of teaching guided composition. Number one, selection or introduction of the topic. Number two, preparation. Number three, oral practice. Number four, writing of composition and number five, correction of mistakes. So, these are the five steps of teaching guided composition. In the first step of introduction or selection of the topic, teacher introduces a topic to the students and tries to create teaching learning atmosphere in the class. In second step, preparation, teacher prepares students by providing subject material, vocabulary, ideas, points. In this step, teacher prepares students for composition. In the step of oral practice, teacher provides sufficient oral practice to the students with the help of questions and answers, discussion and debate, points and pictures. This step develops students oral composition skills and generates lots of ideas in the classroom regarding the topic of composition. In the fourth step, writing of composition, teacher gives an outline of the composition and asks students to write the composition on the given topic. This step develops students written composition skills. Students use the ideas and points generated in oral discussion earlier and writes the composition. In the last step, correction of mistakes, teacher corrects mistakes of students, discusses problems faced by students while writing composition and gives feedback. So, this is the procedure of teaching guided composition. Teacher should involve all the students in the entire process of guided composition. Teacher should try to pay individual attention to all the students. Teacher can also instruct students to work in pairs or groups to promote collaborative, cooperative and constructive learning. Teacher should encourage students to express their ideas freely without any hesitation. After knowing the procedure of guided composition, let us try to understand some of the techniques of developing guided composition in the classroom. Teacher can develop guided composition with the help of points. Teacher guides students with the help of some points. He discusses points orally and encourages students to tell sentences orally on each point. After discussion, students write the composition. For example, the topic of composition is my home and all the points are given here. You can see all the points on your screen. For example, name of the area or colony, 
type of house, family details, rooms, kitchen, living room, garden, playground, parking and surrounding of the home. In this way, teacher discusses each and every point with students and then asks the students to write down the composition on the topic my home. The second technique is teaching guided composition with the help of substitutional tables. In this technique, teacher asks students to prepare sentences with the help of substitution tables and then put them together to make a composition. For instance, the topic my pet animal. Here on the screen, you can see a substitutional table. Students make many sentences with the help of substitutional table and put them together in the form of composition. This technique can be used at early stages of learning. Another technique of developing guided composition is by questions. Teacher asks a number of interconnected questions to students and write the questions on the blackboard. Students answer the questions. The answers given by students form a composition. For example, the topic myself. Here you can see the questions. What is your name? The answer is my name is so and so. Second question, what is your father's name? The answer is my father's name is so and so. In the same way, where do you live? In which school do you study? Who is your class teacher? These are all the questions. And the answers of all these questions forms a composition. In this way, the answers of questions form a composition on a particular topic. Teacher should teach students about sentences and paragraph construction. Another technique of teaching guided composition is by pictures. Composition is also developed with the help of pictures. It is called as picture composition. Teacher shows a picture to students and asks them to observe the picture. Teacher asks a number of questions on the picture and initiates discussion in the classroom. The answers are written on the blackboard that ultimately forms a composition. Here you can see an image for a picture composition. Look at the picture below. Which festival does it remind you of? Paint the picture with colors. Write four lines about this festival. Teacher can develop picture composition with the help of such pictures. Now students, let's try to understand some of the techniques of developing free composition. The first technique is group discussion. In this technique, teacher divides the class into some groups and gives them some topics without any point, question or guidance and ask students to discuss the topic into groups and write down composition on the given topic. Another technique is pair work. Teacher can also ask students to work in pairs and write down a composition on a given topic. Here, two students will work on a single topic and by sharing ideas and tasks, they will come up with a composition. It will be their pair work. Then another technique is individual assignment. Teacher can give the topics of free composition as an individual assignment and ask students to work on it individually and come up with the composition. Another technique is freedom of selecting topic. In this technique, teacher gives the freedom of selecting any topic to students. Teacher motivates students to write composition on current events, issues, problems 
and whatever is happening around them. So, these are some techniques of teaching free composition. Teacher should encourage students to develop diary writing habits and write down their experiences of life on daily basis. As we know that our Indian students face many problems in learning English grammar and composition due to various factors and learning disabilities. Subsequently, many students lag behind in learning of English language. They need a short or long term support in their learning as per their needs. Here, remedial teaching comes to play a role. The word remedial means to rectify, to improve or remedy something. According to Collins online dictionary, remedial education is intended to improve a person's ability to read, write or do mathematics especially when they find these things difficult. Teachers can take remedial teaching during the regular lessons or he or she can separately arrange the same. The general principles of remedial teaching are identify the students, diagnosis of students problems and needs, identify the mistakes and their reasons, paying individual attention and instruction, presenting material in sequence and in small units, use of various methods, materials, activities and techniques of teaching, multisensory teaching, involving all students in the classroom interactions, removing emotional barriers through praise and sympathy, providing consistent guidance and help, sustaining interest and motivation, creating flexible and friendly atmosphere in the classroom and promoting collaborative and cooperative learning. Teachers should apply all these principles of remedial teaching while teaching English grammar and composition. Students, let us do an activity. There are many teaching and learning portals on the internet. One of them is www.grsmaths.in. It is a teacher's portal. They have uploaded remedial teaching SCRT workbooks on their portal. These remedial teaching workbooks are designed for class 1 to class 10. It has many remedial activities that can improve students English grammar and composition. Download read, learn and apply the strategies and techniques mentioned in the book as per the needs of your students syllabus and scenario. Follow the steps mentioned as here. Open any internet browser in your smartphone, laptop or personal computer. In URL type www.grsmaths.in and visit the portal. On home page, you will find the following link. Remedial teaching SCRT workbooks compiled by P. Manohar Naidu, SGT, KV Palli Mandal, Chittur. Click on all three links to download the books. Download 6th to 9th, download primary level 1, download primary level 2. So, these are the three links given there on that portal. Just you click on the links and download all the three books on remedial teaching. Students search and follow the web portals developed for teachers and learners of English language on internet. Dear students, in this video lesson we have discussed the need and importance of teaching composition the objectives of teaching composition, 
types of composition and the procedures and techniques of teaching guided composition as well as free composition. You can read more about this topic from the books and other resources you are watching on your screen. For more details, you can contact. That's all in this video lesson. Let's meet you next time with a new topic. Thank you very much.